Well, I just wanted to do this song for the word oozling. <laughs> the rain comes oozling out of my cuff. That was, that was fun. Uh, this song has like an introduction and then five stanzas. Even though in the, in the music they call these all five of these choruses, but it's more like singing five stanzas without a chorus. And uh, I only sang the first four. Because the last one has something, some joke about Wal uh, Sir Ra Sir Walter Raleigh and the Queen, and uh, I tried to look it up to see what, ha I know what happened between them, but I tried to get details to see what would pertain to it raining or something to do with this song, and I couldn't find anything, so it didn't make sense to me, and so I just left it off. Uh, in the intro, all, I hear the folks all crooning. But crooning about Taint Gonna Rain No More. Ain't Gonna Rain No More was a, another song that was a pretty big hit uh, from a few years earlier than this. So that's a reference to that song. And it was recorded mo by more than one person, but I know it best as one of Wendell Hall's songs because I've kind of been uh, learning a lot about Wendell Hall lately. Uh, the only other thing I can really say about this song is the Johnstown Flood. <clears throat> which happened in 1898. Uh, I'm sorry, it happened in 1889 uh, in John Johnstown, Pennsylvania when an extremely heavy rains caused uh, a dam to collapse and it uh, wiped out the town. And uh, apparently 1926, enough time had gone by that uh, you could write a song and make jokes about it. <laughs> for Phil Cook I guess that was okay I personally wouldn't have but whatever <laughs> and uh, I think there's been movies made about this you can find a, a documentary on YouTube and so that's what that was a reference to okay I just wanted to add a little bit about the uh, whoops about the cover art here there we go uh, we can see the guy's name who did this down here, Pollitzer. I had to look that up, of course. It took me a few minutes to figure out which Pollitzer it was, but his name was Irving Pollitzer. And uh, you can see from the cover of this sheet music, this is very uh, cartoonish or comical. Uh, it's the kind of illustrations you would expect to see in like a comic strip. But uh, he was capable of doing many other styles. Uh, he, he could do this kind. He could do a more uh, straightforward, uh, realistic style. He could do Art Deco. Um, he did illustrations for uh, sheet music like this. Uh, some of them for more serious songs that have more, uh, quote-unquote, serious type of illustration. And he also did many illustrations for book covers. I found several... Uh, murder mystery books that uh, he had done covers for but uh, I thought this was a interesting cover because uh, I don't think I've ever seen this quite a, a style quite like this for uh, for old sheet music before it's it's so comic stripish if you know what I mean and as some of the things that he drew here directly reference parts of the song. Uh, up here we just see someone in a boat uh, looking at a barber pole <laughs> sticking out of the water. But uh, <coughs> like there was the uh, line about uh, he can't pet when the bench is wet. So here we have him, see him sitting on a bench with his girl uh, shaking his fist <laughs> in in vain at the rain <laughs> and uh, here he's trying to trying to smoke with the rain falling on him and and <laughs> and over here he's he's throwing his coat down for his girl to walk across but he's <laughs> he appears to be looking kind of I see let me zoom in a little bit more see if it looks better he's kind of <laughs> he's looking kind of ruefully like he kind of regrets having to throw his coat down <laughs> That was pretty good. Of course, the big central illustration is just uh, 
Once again, he's feeling it rain. Fortunately, he's brought his umbrella with him. And then uh, the last part of the song where it talks about the the ducks are glad when the raindrop flows. So here we see him surrounded by some ducks and just the top part of a fence. And way in the background, there's a house almost completely underwater, somehow with smoke still coming out the chimney. <laughs> And uh, I just thought that was worth mentioning. So that was the illustrator's name, Irving Pollitzer, and he did many illustrations for sheet music as well as book covers. And that should be all. Thank you very much.